house anytime, this just comes in very handy. Or if you're just going to get a car loan or something like this, okay, if, I, if I'm going to get a loan for something, I'm going to bring my TI with me, okay, and it's going to be there on that day that I sign the papers and everything. I, you know, I bought my house 15 years ago, and uh, basically I did that. I made sure I kind of checked everything. Uh, they follow this same formula. So what we're going to look at is what we call a present value of an annuity. And just think of this as like um, you have a loan. So basically what kind of happens is you start with a future value. That might be, let's say that you're buying a $400,000 house. That's how much is getting loaned to you. Okay. Uh, hold on. I'm doing that. That would be the present value. Okay. So present value on the annuity, we started at zero. Annuity, you save money. So you start at zero and then you save up. Well, now it's backwards. The present value starts big. That's the loan amount. And then hopefully one day you'll pay off your house and you'll have a future value of zero. So everything's just totally in reverse when we do that. We're not going to really learn in this section how to work with this formula by hand, but uh, that's what the formula for a present value of an annuity is. We're going to de total, totally do everything on TVM in this section. Okay, so let me read over this example, and we're going to do this on the calculator here in the TVM. Okay, so this says a family is thinking about buying a new house costing $120,000. Good luck finding a house in Denver that costs that much. You won't. I don't think you can find anything for let cheaper than three hundred dollars now, probably. You know, I don't know. Maybe one of those tiny houses or something. Okay, it says the family must pay 20% down, so we need to figure that out. And then the rest is to be amortized over 30-year mortgage, equally monthly payments, compounded monthly. There's your interest rate. That's a horrible interest rate, by the way. 3% is where the best interest rates are now in, uh, in mortgages. Okay, they used to be that high like that back in the 1980s and 70s, if I remember right. Uh, so basically, the first thing that we need to do is we need to do our down payment. So if we're doing 20% down, and the way houses usually work, if you can't make a down payment, then you have to go to what's called a FHA loan, guaranteed by the government, and they charge you mortgage insurance, which is more money out of your pocket. So making a down payment is also keeps you from having that FHA loan. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 20% of 120,000, and then that'll give us our, our down payment. So we need to figure that in when we do that. Okay, so I just go 0.20 times 120,000. Okay, like that, and that's a payment. And I must say, that's a big down payment. That's why so many people have to use FHA loans. Although you can get out of an FHA loan if you refinance and prove that you've got good credit and pay them and making payments and everything on time. All right, so that's your down payment. So the second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 120,000 and we're gonna subtract off the 24,000 and then that's gonna give the amount that we're actually financing and that's what we're gonna be working with on our TVM solver. So I do that. Yes. Okay, so let's see we're going to end up having $96,000. So that's what you're actually, that's your loan amount like that. And then we're ready to kind of start setting up the TVM. All right. So you got your t down payment out of the way. You're asking the bank for $96,000. Okay. Well, let's do in. In the TVM, in is how many payments you make. Okay. You're making monthly payments and you're doing a 30-year mortgage. So you do that, I'm pretty sure that's 360 or something, I think. I think that's what that is. So that's 360. Okay, we got that. So that'll go in the TVM. Uh, the interest rate is 7.5. Okay, the present value is what we start with. So that's $96,000. Okay, that right now you get got your loan and you're trying to pay that off. The payment, we don't know. That's what we're trying to find in this problem. And then the future value, what do you hope? Hopefully, eventually it gets paid off. It's uh, compounded monthly, so that's 12, which means you have 12 payments. Okay, so that's where all the numbers go uh, in that problem then. All right, does everybody understand that?
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's go to TVM and let's get this put together. Again, you go apps, finance, TVM solver. And see, so you can do this too. Like if you're going shopping, you could learn to play with this and experiment and figure out payments. Uh, so basically, you'd have 360 payments. You have an interest rate of 7.5. Uh, you have present value of 96,000. Uh, payment, whatever. You can put any number there you want to. That's what we're trying to find, so you can leave that alone. Future value, zero. And then 12 and 12 like this. So this is how you would be. You would figure out your payments. There's other things that are that are dealt with in mortgages, like you, you'll have to pay insurance, okay, property insurance, and sometimes that is figured into the mortgage payment also. So we just go alpha solve, and then that, whoa, okay, oh, I'm on the wrong thing. I did the wrong thing there. I, I'm thinking I've got to make a $905,000 payment. The future value is zero. I did the alpha solve on the wrong thing. So go alpha solve. That's more like it. OK. All right. Payments come out as negative. And it's just uh, don't, don't worry about that. That's, that's the way that's calculated. So basically what we would know is the payment is. Six hundred and seventy one dollars and about twenty five cents. OK, be sure that you round that correctly and everything. So that's what your payment is. And see, that's how you can use technology to figure out loan payments. You can do the same thing for a car. And that's what that's what uh, car dealerships do. I do it on a computer just like I did there. Yes, you have something? Say that again. I'm behind the calculator. Oh, something's behind the calculator. The ninety-six thousand. Oh, that's that's the last problem. That's the last problem. Well, no, that's uh, we we made a down payment. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. That was the last problem. All right. Is everybody okay with what I just did then? Okay. All right. Now we got one more part of this problem. Now you'll see this on your test four and you'll see this on your final. Okay. This is the kind of problem I want you to do. But the other thing we're going to do is the third thing is we're going to figure out the interest. Don't go to the next page. We're not ready yet. Okay. You try to find the space to put this maybe at the bottom or something. So the interest for the whole loan. All right, so here's what you got to do. Uh, so first of all, you got to find your payments. Okay, so what you're, you're going to make 360 payments. The payments are $671.25. So we need to do that. That's how much you're going to pay. And you aren't paying $96,000. you are paying more than that. Okay, the bank's making money off of you. So you go 360 and then times the 671.25. So you are actually paying $241,650. How much was the loan for? Yeah, so you just kind of take off the loan amount like this. So you just take off the 96,000 and that will tell you how much of your payments are interest. So we take that number minus the 96,000, okay, and that would end up giving, look at that, $145,000 you're paying to the bank. And by the way, that's the way mortgages work. If you do a 30-year mortgage, you can expect to pay about, if you just never refinance, expect to pay twice the amount of your home. So if you buy a $400,000 home, Finance it for 30 years, never refinance, expect to pay 800 grand for that house. Okay, that's the way it works. Sometimes if students aren't familiar with the way finance works and mortgage, they're kind of surprised by that. If you do a 15-year mortgage, then it would be, you know, down like more like instead of double, it's more like one and a half, something kind of like that, or even lower than that. So I, you, you always want to try to do a 15 if you can. The payments are higher, but they're not double. OK, they're usually about one and a half times amount or just depends on your interest rate. So that's how that goes. Does that make sense? OK, so it pays to have lots of money, doesn't it? You understand why rich people get richer? Because they pay cash for everything. You can pay cash for everything, man. You, that saves you so much money. You know, that's the thing. All right, let's go to the next thing. Any question about what I did?
Okay. All right, so this is the next one. It's just kind of a loan, and you can think of this as we're doing loans in this. So um, similar problem. This one says you're buying a sailboat that's $35,000. You're putting 20% down like the last problem. You're making monthly payments for 12 years, and you're doing the interest on this loan is 8.75% compounded monthly. Okay, step one, just like the last problem, is take 20% of that 35,000, and that will be the amount that is being financed. So 0.20 times 35,000 is uh, 7,000. So what that means is you're making a $7,000 down payment. Okay, so what do I need to do to figure out how much money I finance then? Exactly, I just go, 35,000 minus 7,000, and I'm pretty sure that gives 28,000. Okay, so that's the amount that you will finance from the bank, okay? So that's a down payment. Okay, rest of it is TVM solver. We're gonna do all these problems in TVM solver then. Okay, so what do you think? Let's see, how about N? What do you do with N? It's a 12-year loan. You are making monthly payments. So what do you need to do? Well, times 12, there you go. So you're going to make 144 payments if you decide to just, you know, follow the, the your monthly payment for all 12 years. Okay, the interest is 8.75. Okay, what's the present value? 28,000. Okay, see, everything's backwards now. When we were doing annuities, we started at zero and saved for something. Now we're paying off a loan, see? Okay, payment, you don't know. That's what we're going to try to find. What's future value? Zero. You hope you pay off the loan. And the last two numbers, what are they? 12 and 12. Okay. All right, now we just go TVM and put it all together. Okay. All right, so I'll put this in. And then we'll find what our payments are. And we'll work a little bit with the interest, too, on this, too. Uh, so again, I just go uh, apps, finance, TVM, it'll be 144 payments, 8.75% interest, uh, $28,000 sailboat, uh, future value zero, there we go. You can leave payment, you can put anything in you want for payment. So then you just go alpha solve, so $314.72, is that what you're getting? Okay. All right, calculator isn't going to go wrong. It's got that financial formula in there. So basically, we'd end up getting your payment is, and round it off to two decimals, that would be $314.72. That negative comes out because of the way that, that this is programmed. Uh, so just ignore that. Just realize that that happens. Okay, the reason it is, is because that's coming out of the uh, of the 28,000. So it turns out to be a negative number because it's coming out of that loan amount like that. All right, so that's how that goes. All right, so we've got then that done. So we now know our payment. Now we're going to find the interest that you had to pay to pay off this loan. This is the amount of money the bank makes, okay? So what do you do? You have to figure out the amount of your payments, okay? So let's look at your payments, okay? You made 144 payments, and each payment was $314.72, okay? So you need to do that. So that's 144 times 314.72. So that will end up being on here 45000 $319.68. That's how much you paid the bank. Now, what do you need to do to figure out the interest that they make off of your business? Subtract the $28,000. You've got a loan for $28,000. Okay, that's what you do on the interest is subtract those two numbers. And if you do that on your calculator, looks like you'll get uh, the interest is $17,000. $319.68. That's a lot of money that the bank's making off of you. Okay? All right? That's it. That's how banks stay in business, though. Okay? That's the idea.
So when you start buying stuff and getting loans and stuff, that's where a lot of your money goes. That's why you want to try to pay cash for anything you can, if you possibly can. All right. Any questions about what I did? Okay. All right. And that's mostly what we do in this last section with um, uh, with this formula. I'm going to have you probably do just this last problem on this page. I'm just going to give you a few minutes to see if you can put this together. So just... Uh, let's see, you're not doing a down payment. It says it's a 36-month auto loan, 9.84 compounded monthly. Uh, let's see, we can afford payments. Oh, you're given the payment on this of 350 Yeah, okay, let's just do this again. I thought that was the same problem, but it's a little different. So we're going to find the present value on this. So I, we're just going to figure out kind of what we, what we have then. So it's a 36-month auto loan, and you're making monthly payments, okay? Well, okay, what is in? 36, okay, you're making monthly payments. You're told that it's 36, not 36 times 12. It's 36, okay, all right, all right, and then the interest rate is 9.84. Now, you're finding the present value on this problem. It's, uh, we're gonna, it says, how much can you borrow from the e-loan? Okay, that present value is kind of the loan amount on this, so we're going to try to find that. The payments are three fifty. You have to put a negative in your calculator. Okay, and that's the way it is for most of the calculators. The future value is when the loan is paid off, so that's zero. And then the, you're compounding monthly, so it's twelve and twelve like that. Okay, all right. That negative thing sometimes kind of. You, you will forget about, but if you you would probably catch your mistake if you didn't do that. So um, so again, I'm going to go apps, finance, TVM. We'll have 36 payments, uh, 9.84, and well, present value can be anything you want it to be for now. The payment is negative 350, and uh, the future value is zero, so it goes like that. If you didn't put the negative in. I think the present value turns out to be negative. Okay, it doesn't matter. Just ignore the negative. So I got everything in. Then I go alpha solve. So the present value would end up being, which is what we're trying to find on this, the present value is $10,872.23 from the TVM. Okay, so that's the amount that you can borrow. All right, so you can borrow that amount. Okay, so that would be your loan amount. So what we're going to end up doing on this then is we're going to also figure out what is the total interest you will pay for this loan. Okay, well, we do the same thing that we did a few minutes ago. If you want to find the interest, you want to figure out how much you pay. So what you pay is you're doing 36 payments, and the payments are $350. Okay, that was given in the problem. Okay, so 360, I know 36 times 350 per month is going to give you $12,600. Okay, so that's how much money you're paying off of that. Okay, the loan amount is 10872 So what do you do to find the interest? You just subtract the two. So the interest that's earned on this, the interest you pay, would just be found by doing... The am amount of money that you paid, you paid uh, 12600 minus the loan amount, and then that'll give you the amount of interest you pay. You're always kind of doing that when you're di figuring out the interest, okay? So you pay 12600 the loan is for $10,872.23, okay? So that is 1727.77. That's how much interest was paid. Okay? Now, see, what was different on that problem is just we were figuring out the loan amount instead of finding the payment. There's always one thing that you're trying to find on the problem. You can use the TVM to find any of the parts that you want to. Okay? All right? Is everybody okay? Guys, right, so this TVM thing's kind of a, a, a nice thing to have and a nice thing to know how to use. <clears throat> All right, so let's see. Let's do this last thing. I just want to run through one last thing here. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so uh, with this one, okay, this says that you've got a 10 a 10 year ordinary annuity. It has a rate compounded annually this time, and it says how much should you pay for one of these annuities if you want to receive payments of 5,000 annually over a 10 year period. Okay, so we're going to receive payments of $5,000 annually. So you're going to find out how much you should uh, pay for one of these annuities. So to begin with on this one, it says you've got a 10 year ordinary annuity and you're making monthly uh, annual payments. Okay, so the payments are once a year. Okay, so that would just be what? 10 times one or 10, right? You're making 10 payments. It's annual. Okay, if you go all the way down to payments per year, that would be one compounding per year is one, two. Those two numbers are always the same. We're not going to talk about when they're different. Okay, so that goes like that. The interest rate is 6.65, like that. All right, and then you want to kind of figure out on this. Now, you're going to receive a payment of $5,000 annually. Okay, and what's going to happen on this one is uh, you want to kind of look at like this. So it says, how much should you pay for one of these annuities if you want to receive payments of 5000 So actually what you're going to do is the future value will, will end up eventually going to zero. And then the present value is what we want to find. We want to find out how much you put in like that. Okay. So we got everything that we need. And we go to the TVM. Now, you might end up getting a negative on this. If you get a negative, you just ignore it. Okay, so we go like this. All right, put everything in. So you're making 10 payments. Interest is 6.65. And present value is whatever. You can put anything in you want there. Uh, you probably want to put in the negative 5,000. Uh, if you don't put in a negative, you'll get a negative answer. So it goes like that. Okay. All right, then what we want to do is go up here to present value, and then we just go again, alpha, solve. Oh, I didn't change that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm used to all the problems being that way. Okay, so we got one and one like that. So that's going to affect my answer then. All right, so I do this, go alpha, solve, and that gives you, that's the amount of money that you have to pay in so that you'll get payments out of that annuity. So that would end up being $35,693.18. Okay, like that. All right. So the idea with that is uh, when you're doing present value, that's where it starts and then it ends up going to zero. You're going to get these payments out of this annuity. So it's eventually going to go to zero. That's why I did the numbers the way I did. All right. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. All right. So the TVM, I mean, if you know how to use it and set up, then you don't have to do all the, the algebra and arithmetic that's involved in that. So we usually like the students to, mostly in this class, know how to use the technology to solve these type of problems.